Welcome back to Artec. Today we review a handy device that lets you split your HDMI output. Well, it's the lockdown season and this is the Jagabo HDMI uh, splitter. And it comes in handy when you are at home and you want to watch TV via your set-top box, laptop or any other output device and you want to watch it on two different screens. So for example, uh, you want to watch Netflix in two different rooms with one source, you can do that with this device. If you want to watch two uh, cable TV channels in two different rooms with one set-top box, you can do that with this device. And uh, this is without moving the source, so that's the best part. Now this setup could be impractical in some cases, but here in India, when you have a single setup box, which most of the people have, uh, you have the option to kind of uh, split the connection and you know put the HDMI cables in two different rooms and use one setup box and watch TV in two different rooms. It it can work if you use it intelligently, right? So this is a mini HDMI splitter. And as you can see, it can be connected to any HDMI source and it will split that into two different connections. Uh, and that is also done in 4K or 3D. So that's the best part. This supports 4K and uh, it can play 4K on two devices or 3D at full HD on two devices at the same time. It will support 4K at 30 Hertz and of course, all resolutions below that, full HD, 720, etc, etc. Supports 48-bit depth color. Audio is also great. It can support DTS, Dolby, DTS HD as well, 7.1 formats, and some other formats which no one knows about. And it needs a 5-volt DC supply. So opening this thing up... Yeah, and as you get with most of the Chinese uh, products a nice thank you note then comes a nice handy manual um, well a lot of details on it small text here's a closer look at the device right it's got these power LED uh, and a red LED device to indicate uh, data transmission and stuff like that we'll see that in work later it's also got two green LEDs to indicate that there are devices connected on the other end so in the box, there's a mini USB cable. I really don't know why they're using mini USB cable anymore in the market, but there is a mini USB cable which you have to use. It's not even a micro uh, USB cable. And the device. So this device is so tiny. It's, it's really small, right? And you can see that it's pretty small. The electronics have gotten so small. So everything is actually fitting in a, in a small little cute box. I'm going to do a basic test. I only have two screens. Both of them are full HD and they're not 4K. I have made connections as follows. And you can see that I'm using a HD Android TV box. So this is a 4K Android TV box as well, but I'm going to use only full HD. The input and outputs are mentioned here. I'm powered the device using the HD TV box itself. So it, it does work with that, that's the best part. So it doesn't need a lot of power. The two outputs you can see on the other end of the device, one goes to the 15 screen, that's black HDMI cable and the white ca cable goes to the smaller 24 inch full HD screen. And did you also notice that there are two green LEDs for the output and they glow as soon as you connect a cable, whether the TVs are on or not is different. But when it detects a cable, it kind of glows green. And on the other side, you have a single green LED for the input cable, as well as a nice bright LED light. It will only work once the data transmission is detected. Again, 3D console guys can play, you know, 3D full HD. So just remember that this supports 3D too, but not many people use 3D content anymore. Now you can see both the screens are on, 
and must say there's very little or I can't see any loss of clarity honestly it's just surprising it's it's like connecting uh, two monitors to your CPU there's no loss of clarity and that's happening with this device so it's actually amplifying the signal sending it to two devices without loss of clarity very nice no lags no hiccups I'm not sure if this will be the same on the 4K uh, TV, but uh, I must say it works fine with Full HD. Coming to the point, if you have a setup box, uh, just make sure that you have a wireless remote because if you have a, uh, when I say wireless, I'm, I mean to say a Wi-Fi based remote or a RF frequency remote, because if you are using an IR remote based device, you, you may not be able to get uh, you know, uh, you get to change the channel sitting in one room to the other. But having said that, you will save a lot of money on your cable. Suppose you have the compatibility to put a cable across two rooms and use one device. You save a lot on your cable connection, just in case nobody is using, you know, different outputs at the same time. So you'll be, you'll be fine if you're able to kind of just switch rooms and say, okay, I don't need to move the device. So that's where this kind of comes in handy especially when you have a projector and a TV setup so when you want to use a projector you don't have to pull out cables you just have to put on this device and just switch on the projector that's it and this device is really small you can hide it behind the television and uh, it's uh, it, it just needs a USB output uh, which is probably from your television if you have one of those you can just plug it behind your TV and the power is enough for it to run this so i'm not using any powered device uh, powered adapter to run this it's just using the power from the android tv box and it works fine so that's my short review on the jagobo 4 4k 3d hdmi splitter probably think it's a useful device it's it's really uh, handy when you have two screens and you have one source it can really do well if you have a projector and tv setup i'll leave the links in the description uh, please do hit the subs subscribe button and the like button if you like the video and um, I hope you guys take care stay safe and I will see you on the next one Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye